Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, thanks to Namsel, for this one. Amy plays a planeswalker, and then equips it with a Luxior. Afterwards, Nick plays an Unforge against the Luxior. What happens to the planeswalker? Does it take two damage? Alright, first of all, I want to go over this important fact about how continuous effects work. If you have something like Luxior's ability that makes the equipped permanent into a creature and not a planeswalker, then that is going to work as long as Luxior is on the battlefield equipped to that creature. And it's going to end at immediately the time when the Luxior leaves the battlefield or stops being equipped to that creature. This doesn't use the stack, and there's no special game procedure that does this. It just happens instantaneously after the Luxior is no longer equipped to the creature. Okay. So now we're in a good position to talk about exactly what happens when the Unforge resolves. We're going to perform all of its instructions in the order that they're written down. So we're going to first start out with destroying the equipment. So that means the Luxior is going to get destroyed. And then we're going to move on to the second instruction on the Unforge. First, we'll check to see if the condition is true. It says if that equipment was attached to a creature. Now, at the time when the Luxior was destroyed, it definitely was on the battlefield, and that means that its continuous effect still was applying to the Planeswalker and making it into a creature. So that means that that condition is going to be true, and we are going to proceed with performing that instruction. The instruction, though, gets a little bit interesting. It tells us that we're going to do two damage to that creature, and it's not exactly clear how this is going to be possible, because immediately after the Luxior leaves the battlefield, that means that it's not going to be making the equipped permanent into a creature anymore. It'll go back to the way it was, that is, being a planeswalker. So is it going to be possible to deal two damage to that planeswalker or not? And in order to answer that question, we're going to need this rule here, which indicates that these sorts of descriptions are not taken 100% literally when they come up. Rather, they are used by the game in order to tag a specific object. And, even if the object changes characteristics so that the description is no longer appropriate, the game still is able to find them. That means that even though this permanent is no longer a creature, the game still is able to identify it as the thing that Luxior was attached to, and it'll still suffer two damage entirely normally. Just like if you would have played a shock against that planeswalker, for example. And so, it's going to take two loyalty counters off of that planeswalker. Let's notice that Nick did get a little bit lucky here. That's because Planeswalker is the only other permanent type that can be dealt damage. So that would mean that if Amy had some other type of permanent, like a land, and attached Luxior to it, which would be possible, there's stuff that animates a land until end of turn, for example, then it would be possible for that land to still have the Luxior attached to it, even after the effect that originally animated it ended. That's because the Luxior ability is able to continue to apply to the equipped permanent and continue to make it into a creature so the Luxior would not fall off after that effect ended. Let's take a look what would happen in this situation if Nick were to play the Unforge against the Luxior here. The destroying the equipment would of course work exactly the same way, but when we go to deal two damage to the land, we're going to come up with a problem. A land is not a creature or a planeswalker, and so therefore it's not going to be possible to perform the instruction that you deal two damage to the equipped creature, because at this point the equipped creature would be a land, and that is not one of the card types that it's possible to deal damage to. So in this case, you would be destroying the Luxior, but you wouldn't be dealing two damage to anything. Kind of an interesting trick, huh? And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling. But until then, I hope you have a great day.